I don't know if you saw that or no, there's another one right there. So yeah, I got a little army of kittens living in my bedroom. My mother uh, somehow found this place. So cute little bastards. All right, so here's what we got going on today. I've got a junk pickup. We're gonna scrap out my uh, four thousand dollar Ralph Lauren tables, which I have now reduced to garbage, and uh, maybe strip down that razor and get the batteries out, and then we'll bring in the batteries as well to and go see Kyle at the battery doctor. This is the mama, this is Gracie. She's such a sweetheart. She's so lovely and smart. Such a good girl. Yes, she is. Yes, you are. What are you doing, mama? What are you doing? So yeah, if you cut these nice and tight so there's no aluminum, then they come out pretty easy, usually. You don't have to fight with them. Got a bit of this, and a bit of that. A couple pounds. Good. All right, we got a bit of time here before we gotta go to our job and go to the battery doctor. So just gonna clean these up here. Got a bit of bit of brass, some copper from a TV.
All right, we got the uh, bars out of the... Some beautiful orchard country out here. That was me. All right. My man Joe here calls me every few months. Oh, I think we got some bottles here. Or maybe it's, uh, maybe it feels more like mm -hmm. tomato jars or something like cans of tomato or sauce or something like that. Cleaning supplies. Man, I'll tell you, I never thought I'd be scrapping out a 5,000. It's 3,400 US, these ta these side tables. They're yeah. the Pierre Card Pierre Cardin? What the fuck? I forget. Something French, whatever, anyway. So so I'm throwing them. They go, why are they so heavy? If I can then put the magnet on them, go, it's got to be zinc or some shit. I just need some little fucking snap it. It's, the plating's thing. Oh, fuck. And you'll see them. I'm so, <laughs> I just got pumped on it. I've never scrapped out these fucking shit like this before. It doesn't happen very often. Normally, people don't scrap out five thousand dollar tables. Or, oh, no. <laughs> but I could, Kyle. I couldn't sell them because they're so ugly. You know, like rich people like ugly shit is the problem, right? They just, you know, what? They're like, oh, it's, it's. Can you just make it ugly though? And then people will know that, you know, you just like get a, like a weird shine on it and just fucking. Oh. Then, yeah, feel that. Oh. <laughs> brass, 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 brass. The pins are brass, the plates are brass, the things are brass, the bits are brass, the bits are brass. <laughs> anyway, you go play with them. <laughs> the guy showed up last week and he pulls out. I mean, the guy knows his shit. He definitely knows his shit. Yeah, yeah. And I pull it out and I just see like the all the knobs and everything and I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. And nope, whole thing. He had done a hotel and all of their card readers, all of those big ones. Okay. Solid brass. Every single last one of them. I was like, damn. 
hotel card readers. Yeah. There is a building in this town my buddy manages and all of the drain pipe is four inch copper. The whole, and you look and it's so dark and you look and it was built in the last 10, 15 years. Really? And I'm looking at this thing and I go, I go, Gavin, do you know that you fucking got like 20 grand and fucking copper strapped to the side of your bill? He goes, yeah. And you know what the nice thing is? It's so oxidized. People can't tell because yeah. otherwise, like I thought it's like some guy could just come and you just grab one piece. And you're just running off with like 80 bucks. I, I go, it's just, anyway, it's funny the way things go. So should we open her up here? What do you yeah. need? There's not too much. There's, there's just a little bit of IC or of uh, number one there. A couple okay. batteries. Yeah. But this is the main thing right here. This Yeah. <laughs> It has been a big week for brass, or it's been a big month for brass so far. And the price is pretty decent right now, isn't it? It's not terrible. Not That's terrible. Sure. Well, we will take it. We will take so yeah, it. A little, chew, bit. little bit of rad. Okay, and before I forget, I want to show you this motor here came out of a... This came out of a washing machine. Okay. And I have opened another one up like this. This is from an old Kenmore. And... It's all copper in there. Anyway, you don't have to believe me. I could take it home and scrap it too or whatever you want and do aluminum or whatever, but it's... I don't know. I'm judging on the weight on that. I, uh, I gotta believe you. Well, oh, you know, fuck it. And, you know, just... No, you gotta do your due diligence. <laughs> but if it's not, you know, it's not. But it is. That's copper, That's baby. copper, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good stuff there. And, yeah, these ones, like, it's just that it, style always... I know. I, I don't want to... I'm in no rush, so you... We just... You do your thing. You, you check... I like it when you check and you catch me on shit. I do. I'm trying to be a good scrapper. I'm trying to be a good boy here. It's the only way to learn. It's the only way to learn, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. God damn. Yeah, there was a little bit of a bounce on it, wasn't there? Oh. Oh. Give me that. Point with your brass. Okay, good, good, good. No cheating there. No cheating. Oh, good, good. 91 pounds. I like it. I like it. Not bad at all. Yep. Because, yeah, that on its own is going to be a fucking pretty Oh, that's a good, yeah, that's a good payday right there. No, that's why I found those, found those. Because my buddy just gave it to me to sell, and I go, these, no, they're so ugly. No one wants these fucking. I want these things. <laughs> I just didn't know it. <laughs> a little bit dumb on that, actually. <laughs> yeah, they really did not do a good job. No, they just did a poor job on the plating. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, was it, was it supposed to be plated? Like, when you looked it up, was it a plated thing that yeah. Ralph Lauren yeah. made? Yeah, exactly. It was exactly what it was here. The, yeah. It had a glass top. And, um, yeah. Like I said, I found one sim very similar at the auction site. They were there's 3,400 to table US. So these ones were even bigger than those. Because yeah, uh, with that shitty a job, considering who it's coming from, I would have thought that it was uh, somebody afterwards. Yeah, just uh, and decided to do it themselves. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, plating is it's plating on brass has got to be one of the easiest things to do. Like right. brass wants to get plated, right? And yeah, usually it's super simple. And so what I noticed was it looked like there was a layer that flaked off, but then there was still another layer. So probably between layers of plating, they didn't do a prep or something like yeah, that. Or somebody didn't come along, buff it quite enough. Buff it, yeah. Right. That kind of deal. So that's probably... And I'm usually second-guessing everybody else here that has anything to do with metal. No. I don't trust you guys. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you're going to meet your buyer and you're going to look over and go, who threw that in there? <laughs> you're like, shit. You're always, it's always when the buyer's there and you're going to look over and you're going to see the dumbest thing in a bin and go, oh, that's, uh, 
uh, yeah. <laughs> the one guy, fucking Jer. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You might have run into him. Uh, usually got a big black truck. Fucking black guy, probably about my age, about my height. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he, he showed up right at the end of the day yesterday. Okay. Like fucking 10-2. Well, hey, thanks. One, don't push your luck. This ain't another yard. Just because yeah. you're here doesn't mean you're... Yeah, you're not going to get served. It. Exactly. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, figure out what works here. But then I look and fucking... Oh, it was... <laughs> his dirty rads and his clean rads. And I'm like, so... Like, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna buy it as dirty and do the work after? And... No, it was just bought as clean. Oh, yeah. which means more work for Kyle, <laughs> less money from the pa- in the bank. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and I've been I've been fucking hammering down on these guys. Yeah. Um, fucking Philippe is gonna catch a piece of my mind soon. Oh yeah. And, uh, he fucking he usually runs around with Roy. Like he, uh, he's pushing his luck. So. Yeah. And yeah, I fucking, like, I come out here, it's fucking 10 minutes to the end of my day, and he's trying to rip shit apart in the lot. This okay. is the last time yeah. you are ever hearing from me about this. Don't fucking show up 10 minutes before the end of the day and then blatantly Start scrapping. disrespect me. Like, you know you can't do that shit. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh, well, well. Yeah, no, you hum no, and hum no, all you no. want, bud. Fucking trust me. This is it. This is final warning. To the point I said it one more time. Yeah. Curly game is off. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, for you, that's what would probably irk me the most is your guys buying dirty stuff as clean. You're like, guys. But Tom bought a bunch of fucking chrome rims as clean. <laughs> it's chrome, guys. It's <laughs> like, it is as ferrous as it gets. Yeah. I learned fucking oxygen. Yeah. Ferromagnetic. Really? Oxygen. Oh, yeah. If you have pure oxygen, obviously what we're breathing is not pure. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's mostly nitrogen. Yeah. yeah, it's mostly nitrogen. If you have pure oxygen, you really? ferromagnetic. Fuck you that. can fucking make oxygen bubbles and then move them around with a magnet. Oh, that is fascinating. Huh. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's, uh... Well, magnetism is so weird. Why, is... Why did magnetism decide... That the things that are the best and most valuable are non-magnetic right. instead of the other way around. Because <laughs> magnetism is cool. But magnetism picks up the shit we kind of like, oh, well, we, we need that. Okay, so we dropped our scrap off and we're just grabbing a bit of other junk here on a job. Dirty old mattress here. Okay, so the plan I think is grab something cold, go home and hide. Because uh, it's going to be a scorcher today. And uh, yeah, and then bring in, process all this garbage here. There's some scrap in here too, there's steel frame in there. Process most of this cardboard, flatten it down. Could be a few interesting things in here. Some Christmas lights, Christmas tree, scrap, scrap, scrap. Could be a few little treasures. allergies are back now that the rain stopped all right let's go get some cool treats and okay decent little payout uh the big uh the big the big bruiser was 91 pounds of brass at 240 uh, i phoned abc was only doing 235 so uh 
Cal gave me a nice little premium there, make sure. So yeah, the total check on this was 330 bucks for that little pile. So now uh, we gotta clean this load up for the dump and then we're gonna go pick up a full set of appliances, washer, dryer, fridge, fridge, freezer, dishwasher, that sort of thing. Just right around the corner. Sure, sure. Uh, uh... We grab these out in the country here. We got a usual washer, two dishwashers, stove, fridge. We're way out in the back country here. Where are we? Oh neat, he's got a big shop here. Where are we going? Here? Sure, should I just park here? Yeah, just right here. I'm just gonna pull ahead a little bit. Oh, neat, he's got a big, uh, what's that, a CNC or a mill? Wow, nice well, setup. We'll do it ourselves. It's yeah. so expensive. It's yeah. like you guys can take it. We can sneak it in a few places. But if I take it, I just got to pay through the nose as yeah. soon as I touch it. No, totally yeah, it's understand. It's 55 minimum for us at the dump for cardboard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 25 for like a little box like this. Like. <laughs> yeah, four by four box. The west side's more affordable, but it's also another two hours of driving. Right. <laughs> so you got a car. Yeah. <laughs> the cardboard is. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you. At least we know you can do it. Right? Yeah, yeah, we could do it. Yeah, if you want to do a big load. Yeah, no worries. Oh, it's fine. I just this thing with the trailer. I just got to go in first, so it's fine off the big hill. But whatever. At the bottom? Yeah, it didn't. It didn't struggle. It was fine. No. But if I go in a second, brah. Brah, we need to get us some popsicles, brah. Popsicles. Are you gonna take them straight to action? No, no, no. I'm probably. I gotta cut the cords off. There's probably a little bit of brass on that. It might strip the stove. Maybe I can even sell that stove, even though no one likes those flat tops. But it's kind of a neat one. It's kind of cool. 50 yeah. bucks, brah. There we go. That's what it's all um, about. Yeah, yeah, that was fine. Drill Ridge Fire Department. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I have a rink here. Wasn't there a... I thought the fire department was right along the highway there. No, that's the other one. Is it a fire hall? Or is it like the fire hall? Or... Like this is where they actually the fire trucks are. Is that like more like a meeting place or something? Or I think that was the old. Is it the old one? I think they had moved. I think they've got two, so I think this kind of branches so that they're not. You know, Dependent. Wow. Well, I mean, walls. if you got to fire up Gaudi, you see how it is. The fire truck's yeah. going to take as long as I am to get up there. Yeah. I'm fucking full of water. <laughs> yeah, All I right. don't think they use that one for much of anything, but maybe some specialized equipment. No, I mean, it's probably past the farms there on the right. Yeah, it's probably like East Kelowna Hall. It was probably yeah. like a thing that they used to use, and now they just because yeah, this is new and modern and whatever. So yeah, that was fine. Honestly, look, this truck was great up until the Gaudi turn off, and then that steep section. I was in second and started overheating, so I put in first, and then well, it just. I, I'm over. I was dude, overheating. Dude, I was, I was like, fucking. I deep. talked up. I put a little too much. 
fucking uh, a little too much oil, bro. A little too much fucking coolant in. But my oil was like when I checked the oil when I went to leave, like it was just below the ad liter. Okay, yep. So Yep. Well anyway, um that was all good. You know me, bro, I love scrapping. Okay, I'm gonna buy some popsicles and I'm gonna go play with my kitties! I have a cool drink here if you want one. What? I don't know how cold it is. Oh, it's probably cold enough for me to chug. It's probably cold enough for me to chug, brah. I got bubblies. Oh yeah, hit me with a bubbly. Pink or purple? Perps, brah. You know me and the perps. Oh shit. Oh, they're cold, bitch! They're cold! Coldish. For 30 for 39 degrees, they're cold enough. Okay, well, I'm calling her a day, bruh. I'm calling her a day. Hey, where'd you get the magnet from? Oh, which one? The blue one. Oh, that's a schnitzer, bruh. That's a schnitzer magnet, bruh. You gotta know people, bruh. You gotta know people, bruh. Kyle gave it to me. So that was a good little job. I don't know what John charged on that. He probably charged 250, 300 for that pickup. So yeah, he threw me 50 bucks because he gave me that uh, that brass table. That was 200 bucks right there. So yeah, we do jobs together all the time. Um, yeah, that was fun. I think we're uh, that's it for this video. I'll scrap these out tonight and bring them in tomorrow. Pull off anything good. Yeah, look how beautiful this. Kind of heading up Highway 33 towards uh, Big White and Kootenays, Rock Creek, Beaverdale. Okay, one final uh, little addition here for my man, Canadian Treasure Hunter. Uh, the neighbor just across the road was uh, the tenants. The tenants moved out, and I fished this little beauty out here. Canadian Butter Co-op, Saskatchewan. I think it's, uh, oops, same as yours, they always need a little bit of gluing. And this one was also cool here, this Malkin's, Malkin's tea box. And, uh, yeah, here's my license plate collection. Anyway, lots of old, old stuff and new stuff here, so. Anyway, that's it.